Good morning everyone. Today I'm back with Ginger over at Ginger's Corner and we are um, doing a embellishment. The theme is Forever Faith, the Christmas Story. And I know that she's having this now because we're not going to be doing anything during the Christmas season. And so um, it could be anything um, with the Christmas with um, you know like the arrival of Jesus um, during this time so anyway um, I have this rubber stamp it's from Stampin Up and it's from 2000 and the one I'm using I actually have two here but I thought I would use this one because I don't think I've used this one and um, it's got Joseph Mary and Jesus and a sheep and there's straw around them or hay and then um, you know there's a little star here I cut it out but I don't know if I would actually use that I might depends and then um, underneath it or beside it wherever you want to put it because I'm gonna put these in here separate now I left it big because I might would want to tear it so I'll do the same thing when um, I do the ones for the swap and this is a swap of 10 and everybody that's making one they'll be listed below and so now I was going to tell you what it says okay may the blessings of peace the beauty of hope and the spirit of love be your gifts this Christmas season so that I would probably maybe stick it beside it um, or maybe I would even put it somewhere else on the page you know so I'm going to put them both separate and I'm going to put this in there, the little um, the star too. And so I've stamped one ahead here. And I'm actually using Stampin' Up! Pad Ombre. And it's the Black Noir and Sch Schwartz. And it actually has, I don't know if that's supposed to be the three color or the five colors. No, obviously not because there's five colors. But I actually ran the whole thing over it. <laughs> because it's like I didn't want it to be ombre and this is quite old also so I don't even know if it works as ombre anymore it might not so but I just opened it actually today <laughs> because all I have is Tim Holtz inks and they would just not work well for this okay so um, actually I'm starting out with I'm just using colored pencils because I wanted it to be very soft colors and so I'm using let's see what color was that this is light brown and then for his his scarf or whatever they call it over his head I'm actually using green And I will try to go as fast as I can, but <laughs> I'm kind of one of these people that it's like I layer the colors to get a different shade, a little more of a different color. So I'm going over it with the green first. And then I'm actually going to use jade. And I just, I don't know, maybe it's just um, coloring it more. And maybe I would like it just the same <laughs> if I just colored green twice over it. I don't know. But I like the, the different shades layered together. And so sometimes I do that with different ones. You know, just like I did with <laughs> when I did the embellishment with the books. And just kind of layered different colors then too. Okay, and then um, let's see. I'm just gonna keep putting things over side. Okay, his the the shepherd's staff. I'm gonna actually put a line of the light brown, and it's like it's not even colored in. And then I'm gonna go to the dark brown. 
so that it just has more than one color since it's supposed to be wood. Okay, and I'm also going to color his beard this color. And I'm going to try to come in a little bit and try not to get out of the screen. So I'm just doing his beard in this dark brown also. And I'm going to, let's see, what else was I doing the dark brown? I think that's it right now. I do have tan. That's what I'm going to color their skin. Oh, and I'm sorry. I cannot color and talk at the same time, obviously. And so, oh, and I forgot to color his arms. You know, it's so funny because I go over their faces and I think, oh, his arms are sticking out. <laughs> and I did this when I colored the first one, too. It's like, first thing you see is, I guess, their faces. So, let's see her hands. And Jesus' arm. Oh, and I suppose her neck too, which I did not color over here. But I know she did not have a white, white neck. <laughs> so I need to have that colored. And I suppose on Joseph too. I did not do those. Okay, I think I got all their skin colored now. And then um, for Jesus, I'm going to color his hair lighter since he's a baby. So I'm doing the light brown. Okay, and then let's see, I am doing his jacket brown so I actually have him in browns and greens No talking about coloring. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. And then um, his undergarment. I'm going to do that in the lighter brown. And this lighter brown, it's called light brown, but it actually is a little bit reddish. Okay, I think that's good there. Okay, I just keep piling my um, things there because I will be using them later too. Okay. And then, because um, um, I need to make 10 of these, this is a special swap that we're doing. And I'm going to make Mary's dress. this peachy color. I'll tell you, I don't know if you've seen The Chosen, but um, it's like, oh my gosh, I wish all of TV was as colorful as that show. It's like, it's so beautiful. 
Now, I think we watched... Um, I think we watched one episode shy of episode two. So we watched episode one, episode two, and then we didn't watch the last one because I wanted to savor it. <laughs> now we just haven't even picked it up to watch it again. But it's like it's such a beautiful, beautiful show. We really need to get back on it. I really loved it. And, you know, they they do more than what's, you know, biblical, but, you know, as far as we know, you know more than what's in the scriptures, but it was sure beautiful to watch. Okay, oh, and up in this part of her dress, I'm doing peach, too. So I'm going to do her headscarf a different color. And then, um, this is really funny, is I have blue and light blue. And actually, if you color with the light blue, or the regular blue, lightly, it looks just like this light blue. So they weren't kidding. <laughs> so I'm going to try to make it a little lighter. Because I'll tell you, um, when I did this, it's like there's hardly any prints at all. Sealed. Um, I canned white pumpkin today. Me and the hubby did. We did three jars, or three jars. We did three white pumpkins, and they weren't, you know, as big as a regular pumpkin. And they filled seven quarts, and then we had some left over that we put in the freezer to see how that worked out. And the white pumpkins are supposed to be sweeter and creamier. So I'll let you know. But I tasted it just um, after the boiling stage. And it really didn't taste like much of anything. But, you know, I'm sure it's all about the spices. Okay, I think I got all my people done and then um, let's see I what did I use for the straw I think I used the tan and I just kind of made some lines where the lines were with the tan And then I went over the sheep with the tan too, just kind of over the lines that are there, or kind of beside the lines actually. I think that's good there. And then um, where the hay is, I'm going over that just kind of a little more than lines but not really coloring it completely in the straw. And I think that's it. Now I did go over the star with yellow, but really I always think of the star as being blue, <laughs> so I don't know how come I did yellow. but. Since I did yellow, I'm just carrying on with it. You know what? I'm going to actually put some brown in here just because if it would, there would be a little bit of a shadow there, you wouldn't actually see white like that. So that's kind of bothering me. Okay, so, and then I'm going to cut it out like I have here. And then I will, um, where's my little bags? I have them here someplace. I have these long bags that I, purchased off Amazon and oh here they are they're like just about in front of me so I don't remember how much it, how many I got in here probably a thousand <laughs> I think probably a hundred but it looks like a thousand and so I will put 
everything in here. I think. Oh, maybe it won't all, maybe it won't fit. Might have to get a wider one. Oh, it just barely makes it. Okay, as long as it's in there sideways, it does make it. So I'm going to put that in there. I will put the little star in there. And then, well, I'll write on it too. And so that's how I'll, so everybody gets their complete kit. So I will get those cut out and they'll be ready to mail out um, after I get done coloring. And you know how long that took me. <laughs> so, yeah, and I might would, um, you know, tear around this when I'm using it. But I'm just going to leave it like this in case somebody doesn't like tearing. Because depending on the layout I do, I might not like it torn. So, and they might be the same. So, thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Everybody that is making embellishments today or is showing their embellishment on Instagram will be listed below. And if you want to join us for um, making embellishments and joining in the swaps, um, just go over to Ginger's Corner. That will also be listed below and um, sign up. There's tons of inspiration over there. She has something going on every day of the week. And um, go over there and check it out. So have a wonderful and blessed day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.